We had a really nice putt just now. And I thought I had hit record, but I didn't. She did not. You just have to believe me. You'll just have to believe me. It was my second putt for a four on a par three. I wasn't going to say that. I wasn't going to tell him that. You know, we keep it real with you guys. I suck at golf. all know that we love harvest hosts. We do. What you might not know is that they actually have more than one plan. Their basic plan includes all of the wineries, breweries, museums, farms. attractions, farms, yeah, all that stuff. They have over 830 locations in just the classic program. I guess. Right. But now they also have a golf package. Yeah. So they added what, 350? They have over 325 oh. golf locations in the US right now. And the thing is, they're always adding more. So by the time you watch this, they could have 350. Who knows? Right. And the base package is $79 a year. Mm -hmm. And the base package plus golf is 119 119 yes. And you can get 15% off if you use our link, which will be below. Yes. And in the description. Yeah. You might have seen our other Harvest Host video where we stayed at a brewery and a museum. Right. This time we stayed at a couple of golf courses. We did this for you guys. I played yeah. golf for you. He fought it. He really didn't want Tried to play golf. To, I hate it. I hate playing. You know. Actually, I love playing golf. Golf hates me. I am not a golfer. He is, but I still really like the idea of parking at golf courses because they're typically very quiet and peaceful and usually really beautiful. And a such is times, the case of the ones that we've been to so far. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times they have a restaurant and or a bar. Yeah, or just a grill or something. Mm -hmm. Snacks. We like snacks, you know that. Yep. So the first one that we went to was in Montana. It was actually the University of Montana golf course. The only problem with that one was we clipped a tree. Yeah, uh, one issue, hopefully won't be there when you go there, was they were repaving the street in front. So we had to kind of come in a weird way. About to get the curb. You're at the curb. <clears throat> well, we're trying, go ahead. Go ahead, go, go ahead. What do you want me to tell them? Chad, you need to communicate with me. I'm gonna back up a little bit and get up, get, I need to back up a little bit. And, move, and try to get a little bit wider turn. All right, go ahead. I can't see the other side, so. All right, we're clear. I still hope we can get around up here. I think we're parking right here. Oh. It really wasn't the fault of the golf course. It was just the circumstances because there were quite a few cars still in the lot that we had to work around. Yeah, we arrived in the middle of the day and there mm -hmm. were still people there playing golf. We actually had to park on one side of the lot and wait for some cars to move that we mm -hmm. so we could make the turn. We could have definitely done it without scratching. The well, and this was after a long travel day and I was so. outside and I was trying to spot and watch, but I could only watch certain parts and the part that I wasn't watching was the part that we scratched. So we those, those branches aren't there anymore because yeah, we took care of we them took for you. those branches up for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was really the only issue. We actually do have a little scratch on our RV from that. It was a pretty nice little course and they actually had a really good restaurant. There was this really great restaurant and we were really surprised and we were happy about it. I mean, we knew that there was a restaurant on the property because we read the description, but the food was really good. And it was neat because there was a little garden right out in front of where our RV was parked. 
that's where they get the vegetables for the restaurant. Yeah, it's literally farm to table and the farm is right there. Yeah, it was pretty cool to watch them tend to the garden every morning because we stayed for two nights. That's one thing that's a little bit different about visiting a golf course is it's sometimes difficult to get a round of golf in after traveling all day. Sometimes you have the time, but you just don't feel like it. Lucky for us that they were nice enough to let us yeah. stay for two days. And we did specifically ask for two nights, so we would have a whole day there and I could play yeah. a casual round of golf and yeah. I have to worry about traveling. You always have to ask in advance for that. Typically it's just one night, so you right. do have to get special permission to do more than one night do that in advance as you should be planning all of your harvest host stops. So we're gonna go out and play some golf. Well, I'm gonna play some golf and- I'm gonna be a spectator of golf. Here's gonna give me golf claps. I've been practicing. He's been looking forward to playing some golf for a while. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. So we're gonna lose a lot of balls today. Yep. And I'm just gonna tag along for a little bit. I'm not feeling that great today. So I'm sorry if I'm a little low energy. And I'm just low energy cause it's, you know, it's just his personality. It's 10 a.m. It's personality. You know what would be funny is for me to take some golf lessons. That would be funny hmm. because me trying to hit a ball with a stick <laughs> doesn't usually work out well. <laughs> for anybody, except for the ball. The ball is usually safe. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, 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 oh. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. Hey, Not bad for your first one in a long time. We get beginner's luck all over again. I don't know how you even see the ball. I lose it like the second it gets airborne. Number three here is very pretty. You see the mountains that way? Yeah, it's beautiful that up way. here. Hill that way. That is the biggest dandelion I've ever seen. Wow. Did it go in here is the question. It did. It did? Here it is. Did you find it? Yeah. Oh. Bonus. Got an extra one? Bonus. <laughs> Why didn't you just go home? That's your home! Are you too good for your home? Another tip about the golf courses, each one is a little bit different. Some of them do specify that you must play around at golf if you're gonna stay there. I'm assuming some, we ran into one. We are going to stay at a golf course called Old Works Golf Course, and that was in a city called Anaconda, Montana. Yeah. But they do have it on the site now that they do require you play a round of golf there. Yeah, and a round of golf there wasn't cheap. No, 70 bucks was the minimum. Yeah. And you know, Part of the reason for doing this is to save money. Yeah. That was not going to save money. Yeah, so we just decided to find an RV park nearby for our overnight, and it was yeah, only like 30 bucks. 30, so this 30, yeah. time around, it wasn't a benefit. Right. If you've got the time to play golf and you don't mind a $70 green fee because it looks like a beautiful course. Yeah, but you don't always want to have that requirement. For the first one at the University of Montana, although he played golf, he wouldn't have had to if he didn't want to. There are different ways that you can spend money on a golf course other than just playing golf. The second one we went to was called Eagle Rock Golf Course in Billings, Montana. Yeah. We had no trouble getting into this one. Oh yeah, this place was just pull right in. It was easy, it, it was, was awesome. awesome. It was out in the middle of nowhere and very quiet and we pulled right in there. There was no requirement to play golf there and quite honestly, we were tired, but we did try to go to the restaurant, but it was closed. So we're in Billings, Montana at a Harvest Host. It's hot. It's freaking hot here. It is so hot. There's the Harvest Host golf course. Yeah, there's our spot. Yep, and we're gonna go Easy. right over there check out the bar. That's right.
Hope the bar's open. Is the uh, bar upstairs closed? Yeah, it is. Oh, damn. We ended up spending money though because I found a pair of sunglasses that were good for the motorcycle for mm -hmm. me and you got some balls. Yep, I bought a, a sleeve of Pro V1s which are not cheap of course. I don't usually buy expensive balls because they usually go in the woods. I never see them again. Yeah. <laughs> but it was a nice course, a, a great easy overnight stay. Yeah, uh, and the, the staff and was super friendly. Yep, that's what I was going to say. And it was an overall really good experience. We got there in the evening and we left in the morning, so we didn't spend a lot of time there, but it was a nice, quiet overnight stop, easy access. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience. So far, we've done two golf courses, both get a thumbs up, and we're going to do more. Yep, we're gonna continue to find golf courses as we make our way back east, and hopefully we continue to have good experiences. I think we will, because all of our Harvest Host experiences so far have been really good. Yeah, really have. And again, guys, if you wanna save money on your membership, use the link in the description below and save yourself some money. That's it guys, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Check out our website, changinglanesrv.com. And Facebook and Instagram too. Yep, See that's how later. we keep in touch with you guys. See ya, outtakes, stay tuned. So far, thumbs up on the golf courses. The but golf. <laughs> the golf. What's up, yo? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're gonna continue to find golf courses. <clears throat> Sorry, I just choked on my own saliva. What do you want to say, Daisy? What do you want to tell everybody? What do you want to tell everybody? How cute you are. Did everybody, I'm... please like and subscribe. Do you want to tell everybody that you're a spaz on travel days? Is yeah. that what you want to tell everybody? Jeez. Yeah, it's an awesome, awesome per thing to do. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs>